Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to create a Redux store. Redux is a state management framework that can be used with a number of different web technologies, including React. In Redux, there is a single state object that's responsible for the entire state of your application. This means if you had a React app with 10 components, the 10 component and each component had its own local state, the entire state of your app would be defined by a single state object housed in the Redux store. This is the first important principle to understand what learning, uh, understand when learning Redux. The Redux store is the single source of truth when it comes to the application state. This also means that any time any piece of your app wants to update state, it must do so through the Redux store. The unidirectional data flow makes it easier to track state management in your app. The Redux store is an object which holds, the manage, holds and manages application state. This is a method called create store on the Redux object, which you use to create the Redux store. This method takes a reducer function as a required argument. The reducer function is covered in later challenge and is already defined for you in the code editor. It simply takes state as an argument and returns state. So here's the reducer. It takes state and it returns state. <clears throat> uh, note that in the code editor, use ES6 default argu uh, arguments syntax to initialize the state to hold a value of 5. If you're not familiar with default arguments, you can refer to the ES6 section of the curriculum. So what, th what do they mean when they say default arguments? They're just passing it in here. And so if you were to say reducer, um, and then you, in the parentheses you put um, 10, that then state would be 10. This is just if you put in reducer with uh, brackets, with, um, yeah, within parentheses, then you don't initiate what specific uh, state is, then it's just going to default to 5. So that's all it's saying there. The Redux store should exist. The Redux store should have a value of 5 for the state. Redux store should have a value of 5 for the state. Redux.createStore Declare a store variable and assign it to we want to let store equal and assign it to create store method passing in the reducer as an argument reducer there we go so yeah with this one it's just important to read the instructions really closely the redux store is an object which holds and manages state uh, yeah declare a store variable so we could say let we could say ver we could say const these are all uh, ways to declare variables. And assign it to create store method. So create store. I think one possible mistake is people would be just doing this. But you actually have to call the, uh, the parent um, variable, right? Um, which is uh, Redux. So you have to call the, uh, what's it called? The global variable, which holds all of the different uh, functions that are available. Okay, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.